for divorce. Plus, Mariah Carey opens up about getting her body back it's after the baby. Good Morning America continues live from Times Square with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> some dance down there, right? down in Times Square. Big crowd, beautiful day here in early November New York. And look at Mariah Carey. She does look terrific. This is all part of our GMA Dropping the Pounds this morning. Three amazing stories, starting with her right there. She had a lot of stubborn Aww. baby weight she wanted to lose. She talked to Lara about how she did it. I've had it be something. I remember you, we, we got together last night and you were chit-chatting about how she just is a, she's, a girlfriend now. She's so happy. Oh. Chilling out. Just wow. a total girlfriend talk. So you'll see that coming Can't up. Can't wait. And here's a look at what's coming up on our GMA morning menu. A revealing conversation with Mariah Carey. She's opening up about how she got that body back after having twins. Plus, a wife's dare to her husband that turned into a huge weight loss. Shall we? Starting with Miss Mariah Carey, who lost 30 pounds after giving birth to twins. I had the chance to talk to her. And here it is. She epitomizes the word diva. Worth a whopping estimated half a billion dollars. She is the best-selling female artist of all time. But somehow, Mariah Carey seems to juggle it all. The career, marriage, and now, motherhood. But like so many women, with the babies came some unwanted weight. I caught up with Mariah to talk about her plans to lose it, her singing, and our love of shoes. Beginning. First of all, you copied my shoes today. No, I'm only kidding. We're having a, um, we have a girl bonding moment. We girl have the same shoes. The Can we shoes. see them? That coincidence is somewhat fitting. Mariah says it was her love of all of her shoes and the fear of not being able to wear them due to weight gain and edema that motivated her recent weight loss. I did fear that I wouldn't, since we have the same shoes on, <laughs> that I wouldn't be able to get back into my shoes. I was like, I have walls full of shoes on two coasts. As you um, went through pregnancy, what was the biggest shock about the changes to your body? Oh. <laughs> uh, I hear you. I, I so tried not to look at my body. Nick knows I had the... I don't even think he's seen me na like fully naked in that long because I just was like, you know what? This is not the moment. How big oh, I couldn't yeah, fit I mean, in you the chair. Made, you no, no, I couldn't fit in this chair. I couldn't get up from the chair alone. And then came her C-section. Yeah, they make it seem like, oh, it's an appointment, like you're getting your nails done. Yeah. I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not getting a manicure, pedicure, or any other skin treatment. It is tough. It is really tough. Our own Barbara Walters recently got to spend time with Mariah and husband Nick Cannon's twins, Moroccan and Monroe, otherwise known as Rock and Row. Look, you're so good. And they're, uh, they're all dressed up. They are. But Mariah says juggling the twins while being a sexy superstar left her with another challenge. Did you feel pressure that you needed to lose the weight quickly? From me. I felt pressure from myself. So she turned to Jenny Craig and within three months has lost a staggering 30 pounds and counting. The pictures speak for themselves and she is now the newest brand ambassador for Jenny. Jenny, set, go. How far away are you from your goal weight? Honestly, because it's so like, do I fit into my shorts from the um, fantasy video? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> and I have those things. Honestly, to be like the heartbreaker video, do I fit into these jeans? Do I fit into... Touch my body? Well, touch my body is a goal. Do you feel touch my body sexy now? Post Not yet. Not yet. I like this, this Halston dress is helping me feel good. And to women you say? Make it happen. I say make it, that's our, it's a song I wrote a long time ago. We remixed it, it's the Jenny theme. The Make It Happen song, I think, resonates with people because it comes from a real place. That's something I went through. I had to push through a lot of adversity in my life, and this is just another, another chapter. Words from a woman who truly knows how to make it happen. You can make it happen. She's going to make it happen. She's got those shorts from the fantasy video. She said she's getting back into them, working on an album, and cannot wait to get back out and tour. Robin? All right, Larry.